coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, talented fighter making the walk here tonight. I will be surprised, Joe, if we see him put on his back at any point tonight. Incredible takedown defense, great balance, very solid base, an outstanding sprawl that's very quick and athletic. And for a lot of fighters, they waste a lot of energy trying to bring this man down. Got to think the smart approach will be to see if you can get the shot early, but if it doesn't materialize, go to plan B. This guy's takedown defense north of 90%. Some of the best takedown artists in the world have failed to take him down. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. So as this guy makes the walk, there's just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. This guy certainly has it. Good fighters certainly know that at times they can beat speed with timing and precision, but in terms of those first exchanges, you gotta get a guy's timing down, and when it comes to this guy, that is easier said than done. This guy has outstanding defense, and having that type of skill, knowing that you can protect yourself and yet still land devastating blows of your own, it is a distinct advantage. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, the Barca. And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, the Nightman! All right, give him losing the locker room. Want you to be on my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long Ready? time, and it is Ready? gonna go down so right fun. now. Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. Lands a big right hand early. Clean overhand. And now he lands a combination. Trying to spin to the back. He does have full guard here, which is still dangerous. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's got him stacked here. He's got to be careful as he has him stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. He's cut over his right eyebrow. Well, his opponent found an opening there. That one oh. appeared to stun him. Oh, oh he bothered him. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. 
Tries to pass, but cannot. He's in half guard. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Moves into full mount here. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Excellent movement here on the ground. Working from the mounted crucifix. Just over two minutes, round one. He's moved back into side control once more. He lands a huge elbow to the head. Trying to pass here. He's back up. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, that was a big left hand he connected with. Powerful hammer fist. He's in half guard here. Under a minute now to go in round one. He's looking to take the back. Now he's stacking him. He's landing some serious ground and pound strikes here. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Oh, he got tagged with the right hand there. Well, he gets up again here, Joe, but he looks hurt. He's, che he's checking every single one of them. Back and forth we go! That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. There it is again. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. The lovely Brittany Palmer getting the round one assignment. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round here. Lands a giant kick. And now starts to snap off that jab. Oh, very nice. Big elbow. He hurt him with that hook. Here's a shot deep. Oh! And busy as he looks to in full position here. He's moved back into side control. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Hits the reversal and right into north-south. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Well, his corner was pretty urgent. Oh! oh, oh. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Head kick! Elbow lands for him. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. He moves to stacking him now. Oh, he missed that kick. Level change there, goes for the takedown. All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. Oh, man, I love it. 
of it. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's got him stacked here. He's got to be careful as he has him stacked here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Now he's stacking him. Wow. Back up to the feet. Level change there. Trying to take the back here. 20 seconds to go round two. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. That eyebrow cut is getting worse. All right, that's the, the end of round, round number two. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Third round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. In the full guard. He moves to stacking him now. Back to the feet now. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. Oh, man. He's got him right here. Back up to his feet again. He got tagged there. Punch coming. He's hard up. Back to his feet again. Amazing. Big uppercut lands for him, Joe. to move into side control here. Denied. Back to his feet again. Amazing. And he doesn't get it. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring points here. And the takedowns are starting to pile up. Taking this fight exactly where he thought he could and exactly where he wants it to be. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Side control again. He's established mounted crucifix. He tries to pass here, but gets shut down. And he's back up to his feet. How about that shin? Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. Oh, he got to go in the round. And he's gonna try to take the back. He's working from the back. And he moves into the mount. Oh, that <laughs> cut has really yeah. opened up now, Joe. Stop, stop. All right, let's take a look at some of the action here. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. 
And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Several near fight ending moments in that round. Lots of action. Ariane Celeste with us tonight. Are you ready? You ready? So All right, here's fight. round four. Fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. That last round was an all out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Just oh! Oh! And that's gonna do it. My goodness. Oh my goodness. A huge kick for the knockout victory. Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Watch this again here. Bang. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Let's get it inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at 35 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the first. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.